Okay, everybody, this is the complete transformation process for Legendary Heroes Shattered Glass Ratchet figure. But what you're going to see is the transformation process for the original use of this mold, which is just the standard ratchet. Hope this helps you out. It is quite tricky, and that's why there's a tutorial here for you now. Hey everybody, this is the transformation process for Legendary Heroes Medic ER. Just a reminder that it is only the transformation process, and the video review is separately uploaded. Also, just to be aware, I'm going to try and make this as descriptive as possible, so it may take some time because this is an incredibly intricate and very clever transformation process. Right, let's start off with slightly loosening the middle compartments or middle panel, shall we say, of the ambulance and indeed trying to pull down underneath. If you do this, this will then separate oh, the side, well, the middle part, as you can see. And if you look inside there, you can already tell that this is going to be pretty crazy how much stuff's gonna go on and move around. Right, let's open the windows up completely. Then let's separate the back and you can bring these out as well. Then you can separate this, fold it out, separate the front like so, and then bring this all the way around like that. So we've got the bottom section here, which you can make out, and the top section is obviously there. I'm folding this up out of the way. It is easier to do the legs first, fold this over under itself, and then literally again, fold it under itself, two tabs, two cutouts, that rests there, and then the foot folds out over it. Incredibly clever. Fold this over, fold it underneath, click it over the top, the foot folds over it. Hold this bit up for now, rotate at the waist 180 degrees, and this is where we can get quite, um, yeah, quite tricky to be honest, because you can see this is gonna slot up and down. So I'm sliding the front part down, but before I need to do that, I need to bring this whole front bit here down. Watch this, the gray part, that's even separate to this. So slide the gray panel down, then let the front part come down. Oh, then I've just popped the light bar off, but it's not a problem. Take the lip there, and that's what I was trying to do. Separate the front windows, and then you can bring this whole top section off as well, believe it or not. See, then we can now open up this, and this is going to enable us to get his head out. So there's his head. Let's close the window back up. And as I say, this is where it gets quite difficult. What we need to do is we need to slot that down in the midsection. This needs to be closed like so. And then this needs to be flush. It's just slightly out. There we go. Now it's flush. If it's slightly out, it's because it's not pushed all the way down on there. Fold the grey bit down. Fold the white bit down. And there you go. That is probably one of the toughest bits uh, for now, though, until we move on to the arms. And they're probably just as bad. Right. Let's bring these arms right the way out. You can see this right underneath and out. So start off by folding the top bit over this bit here is it yeah there it is in fact now we're going to come back to that in a minute what we're going to do we're going to turn this around so you've got the red cross at the front then you can see this is moving around backwards and forth this needs to slide down and turn around so that when it comes behind i've got it the wrong way around when it comes behind the arm it folds over like this and it makes the arm so what I want to do is show you that in as best detail I can. So turn this there. The fists are going to attach into that hole there. So I need to spin this around and then I need to, I've got it the wrong side again. So lift this up there, line it up. So you see this slide, slide this metal part to the top. This is the most, one of the most difficult parts. Now that's flush there, then fold this in and clip that in place. There is his arm. Bring that there, spin it round. You can see there's his arm waiting to have his fist put in. So we need to repeat the same process on this side. So we need to slot this behind. I've got it the wrong way again. Slide this down and behind and then fold over and slot into position like so. And now we need to lift the arms up. This midsection is still not settled. That's because what we need to do with this is... Right, so here's the back. Fold them bits down fold these bits of the roof in like so fold them down right the way down and we've got a cutout here which is going to line up with that cutout there so i need to just straighten everything up this will then fold under it oh i've left the roof tab open fold that down and then this has got the space to fold in like so bring the arm down now like so there we have it so same on this side Bring this out, fold it underneath, and bring it the arm around as well. 
there is, as I say, the incredibly tricky transformation process for getting him in to robot mode. OK, then let's take him back to robot mode. And thankfully, this is much easier going the opposite way. So let's start off with the front. So what we're going to do if we lift the arms up like so, this is going to enable us to open this out. That was, of course, tabbed in via there. Bring this out and you can see the midsection now. Let's slide this all the way up and then bring the roof out ever so slightly. What we then need to do is we need to open the front like so. We need to tuck the head right the way in and then make sure it goes right behind like so, cover that up, and then indeed we're going to fold the grey part underneath. In fact, we're going to bring it out, not underneath. We folded it out before, so we're going to lift that up, and you can see now how the front of this is going to start to take shape. So let's rotate the waist 180 degrees. Let's separate the feet. You'll see how this is all going to pretty much fit together in a minute now. Separate this part of the leg. There we go and open out this ready you can then fold this around i'm not going to connect it in just yet i'm going to open up this side as well in fact now what i'll do is i'll show you we'll do the arms first so we're going to get these we're going to fold this underneath like so now what we need to do is we need to open up all the bits that we closed in on each other so fold this out rotate this around now the key to getting this right once we've swung this out of the way is when we turn it up, and if you see what I did then, on the underside, if I move this out of the way, you need to have it so this white part there is sticking up like that. If it's turned around that way or up, you can't fit the top part in. So it needs to be flush like that. Then you can slide that over. So you can see that there straight away. That's pretty much going to be the side of the vehicle. So let's take this, fold this around as well. Fold out the top part of here, which of course was tucked away very neatly into the back of it and you can see already that it's starting to take shape there's the side of the ambulance there and we're going to do the same on here so bring this underneath open up the hand well, where the hand was and as i say what you're looking for is this white part here let me just spin this out of the way to be flush see there they need to be flush otherwise you won't be able to get the rest of the stuff on top of it slide that forward like so open up this part here and then again we're going to bring this back and you can pretty much see now you've got the shape or well, the top of the ambulance anyway this is the cool part now at the bottom so i've opened up this leg so let's show you this straight away so let's just fold this over and again reposition that straighten this out let me just straighten it out and i'm going to tab this in so if that looks like it didn't make much sense it's because i already opened it out so i'm going to show you with the side that isn't opened out so there's the leg, separate this, fold it up and over like so. Here's the other part of the leg, open this out, fold it around, slot it into there and then start to put all these on the tabs. This has just come out of position, so slot this over. Here's the leg part, fold it over, join them together there, clip that in and then you see what I mean without these, them feet and that will not fit in position if the white tab is the wrong way around and um, i speak from experience it makes it really gets tedious if you can't do it. but there you go that is the transformation process hope it helped let me know in the comments guys take care